We're following a major development today in the ongoing tension between Silicon Valley and the federal government. Twitter is cutting off intelligence agencies access to Datamire. It's a service that sends out real time news alerts based on what people are posting about and is credited for quickly getting the news out about recent terror attacks. But a top official at Twitter said the company doesn't want to appear to work too closely with federal intelligence agencies. CNET senior editor Jeff Bacalar is here to help flesh out the reasoning behind this sudden move. Jeff, this doesn't stop anyone from subscribing to Data Meyer on their own, right? Yeah, the way it appears is that there are independent uh, parties that can still subscribe and set up alerts to however they would want to get that kind of information from data miner and Twitter's come out and said, look, you know, we're not really camouflaging or disguising any of our data. We just don't want it to appear like we're part of this sort of spying initiative. So what's from a tech standpoint, what's really changing then? Nothing's really changing. Uh, it's really just sounds like a strategic, almost kind of PR move on their behalf. Because like I said, they do want to separate themselves, distance themselves from having that negative sort of big brother connotation. Um, and they're essentially saying, no, well, this sort of, you know, open pipe we have of all this data that comes out of Twitter, we're not going to let you sort of tap into that. But the information in itself is still open to the public and anybody can kind of tap into that uh, in their own way. Jeff, let's talk about the bigger picture then. This comes on the heels of the government's fierce battle with Apple over accessing the San Bernardino shooter's iPhone. How will this new situation between Twitter and the government influence the debate over privacy versus security? You know, I think it just brings uh, more of this sort of controversy to the, to the forefront and probably opens up a bigger conversation of how we understand our security and how we feel about the government sort of having access to that. I think if anything, uh, what this does is kind of, you know, rekindle uh, the conversation that needs to be had. I think a lot of these things kind of fall into this sort of stigma where there's a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of miseducation. Um, you know, if a lot of it comes down to the fine print and how companies uh, decide to protect your privacy, uh, your sensitive user information. So I think what people need to do is understand, you know, what these companies are responsible for, what the government is allowed to do, and kind of decide for themselves and, and, and navigate that sort of, um, you know, uh, course themselves. Because, you know, a lot of people just hear something and they say, oh, Twitter's not going to cooperate against the war on terrorism. Well, it's not just that cut and dry. There's a lot of fine print that people definitely need to uh, read for themselves.